Hello again. I uh, wanted to record this video to just uh, show how to upgrade the Leap drivers. As of version 119 of MidiPaw, uh, it has moved to the latest version 5.x drivers that Leap Motion has out. Uh, those are only 64-bit drivers, so things have changed uh, a little bit. So uh, let's let's suppose that you've just installed 119 of MidiPaw. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it. Um, and I've already taken the steps to recover my presets, which you can see in another video um, that I'll that'll link up here as well. Uh, but what you can see is, let me just make that a little bit bigger. Hello. There we go. Leap motion is not found. What do you mean not found? It was found last time. What are you talking about? If I go over here, everything looks fine. I can I can bring up my settings um, for the leap motion. And the issue is uh, that we are using the old um, version of this driver for 1.0. We have to move to 5.2.0 to support version 1.1.9 and above. So the way you do that, I'll, I'll close MIDI-PAW. And the way you do that, I'll close this guy out. Uh, and so we'll have to uninstall the 4. So if I'll, I'll search for Add or Remove Programs. There we go. Uh, and I will search this list for the word Leap. And I have Leap Motion Software. I will say uninstall yes please i will confirm that yes that's what i want i will say remove apps i don't want any of it uninstall and we wait patiently zoom zoom, zoom. <laughs> there we go uh so the installation excuse me, the uninstallation completed successfully it's not there anymore uh then what you'll need to do is to download the five two drivers there'll be a link from the midipaw um, website for that uh, I've already got them in my downloads uh, folder. This one right here, the Ultra Leap Tracking Installer uh, for version 5.2 is what this one was. And importantly, it's Win64. That's the only option now, which is why MIDIPAW has changed. Uh, MIDIPAW was 32-bit before, but we've changed up to 64-bit to keep track with this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and run that installer. I'll take that out of the way. Uh, so here we go. Ultra Leap, the branding has, has changed. Uh, go uh, and I will just accept the defaults that it's giving me here uh, you don't actually need to install the SDK anymore you can just have these pieces because the required bits are actually shipped with MIDI so I'm just going to take the defaults that most people would take uh, and then the install is going to take a couple of minutes so I'll just sit here and wait <laughs> for the install so how's the weather how are your kids Yep. How's your music? <laughs> I'll probably cut this part out of the video because it's going to take too long. But we wait and we wait and we wait. Here we go. So it's coming through a little bit quicker now. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Maybe I'll leave that in the video. Uh, so it's it's completed. I'm going to finish uh, to close setup. Uh, and now if I look uh, down here in my in my tray, I have the new icon, the Ultra Leap tracking device. Uh, and if I bring up the control panel, uh, we can see in the About page that we have the Ultra Leap Hand Tracking 5.2. Great, that is the latest one. Uh, and if I then run MediaPot again, there it comes. And now the Leap Motion is found. Uh, and if I wave my hand uh, in front of it, uh, if it were plugged in, uh, it would go ahead and update uh, update all of these things. So. Uh, that is how uh, that is how you upgrade that. Thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, happy composing. Okay, thanks.